What is going on YouTube Everything Epan here and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4074 in VirtualBox. This is a video that has been requested by a lot of my viewers so I'm going to go ahead and do that video tutorial today for you guys so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, if you do not have VirtualBox as I say in all the beginning of my videos you need to get it. Uh, you can use VMware if you want but I prefer VirtualBox myself. And also, I'm using Windows 10, as you can see. It looks a little different. Um, I have Windows 10. So, you need to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to delete this one. You can create a new virtual machine if you, uh, once you get VirtualBox installed, I'm going to call it Longhorn Build 4074. And you need to select Windows XP 32-bit for the version. Hit Next. I'm going to bump up the RAM a little bit. Next, next, and then create the virtual hard drive. You know how this works, but I'm going to move it up here. Then you hit settings, storage, and then hit this empty disk. You need to find the ISO, which mine is right here. And I have every single build of Longhorn, so if you guys want any other builds of Longhorn, you can go ahead and ask for that. So once you get the disk in there, hit start. This is VirtualBox 5.0, by the way, if you did not see that. So you get this boot up screen. Then you'll get to the uh, setup screen, starting setup. So then it says, welcome to Windows Setup. It'll give you a little bit of information about this uh, um, it says it's for evaluation purposes only, but it's how old. Um, so hit continue, and then you'll need the product key. So that will be in the description. I obviously I don't usually share them, um, but the product key is in the description with the ISO, so you guys can get that. So I'll be back with you guys once I uh, enter in the uh, product key. All right, so I got the product key entered in. Uh, it'll give you the uh, license agreement. So go ahead and uh, accept that. Hit yes continue. I'm going to change the computer name to Longhorn 4074 just so I know that the build number is that. Continue and continue again. And then if this isn't selected already go ahead and do that and then hit continue. It's going to collect information and copy files and then there's going to be a little progress bar that goes down here and it'll go across. Now this will restart I believe twice so and then it'll give you a time down here but it will not take 13 minutes to do this part. Um, so, I'll be back with you guys once we hit the uh, first restart screen. Alright, so we have hit the first restart screen, so you can let this progress bar go, or you can just hit finish. And then it will do your uh, first restart, and then... That is if it does... There we go. I was going to say, sometimes it takes a little bit. Do not press any key to boot from the CD, or you'll just keep going in a loop. And then it'll give you the uh, boot screen, and then you will get back to the screen. I believe it's going to detect. Yep, it's going to detect your hardware. This can take some time. It may take up to 10 minutes, but it usually does not. My and for me, I believe it takes around uh, up to five minutes, uh, possibly. So um, just give it some time. It's going to detect your hardware. Your screen may flash uh, a couple times. Um, during this, so uh, I'll be back with you guys uh, once this uh, screen is away or finished. You know what I mean. Okay, so after the uh, hardware part, when it detects your hardware, you should get to the actual Windows Longhorn interface here. Um, it may come up with a few uh, found new hardware wizards. You can try those if you want, but they obviously won't work. So um, if you have any graphics problems, um, I've been having that, so if any of you guys um, have been having that problem and you know how to fix it, um, just let me know and I can uh, share your video, put it in the description if you have a video. Um, so this is, uh, this is what Longhorn 4074 looks like, and you guys can definitely use it. I'm not sure if the internet works. Looks like it doesn't, but I may, there might be some fixes for that or something. But uh, that is how to install uh, Windows Longhorn Build 4074 in VirtualBox. Uh, more tutorials coming soon. 
um, so pretty much ones that you guys requested, maybe a couple others, um, but um, you can definitely ask me for other builds of Longhorn or any other beta builds possibly if I have any of those, um, but for now, uh, this is Windows Longhorn 4074. Um, like this video if this helped you and share it so that can help other people too. Um, subscribe for more tutorials and uh, thank you guys for watching.